Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, <clears throat> I am your host, Morgan. And uh, first of all, before I get to today's topic, I want to thank you everyone who has been watching my videos and subscribed to the channel and like my videos. Um, I really appreciate the support. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Today we're diving into a topic that a lot of people fall into, comparing yourself to others. It's so easy to scroll through social media and kind of see what other people are doing and what's going on in their lives and compare it to yourself and you kind of figure, why do they have that and why do I not? Or how are they looking like that and why do I not? Stuff like that. It's really easy to look at what peop other people are doing in their life and to think that we're falling short. But guess what? It happens to everyone. In this video, I'll share three tips that will help you kind of not compare yourself to other people and some positive things that you can do to help you kind of get to that negative mindset. So let's dive into that. So tip number one is you want to kind of acknowledge your own journey. The journey that you're on right now is a journey that no one else has ever been on because you're the only person that is you. Sounds silly, but basically what's going on for you right now in your life is perfect for you. And because your journey is not like other people's journey, there's a reason why it's different. And it's a good thing that it's not the same. If it was the same journey, then life would be pretty boring. And we're all here for 80 plus years going, wow, I'm doing the same exact thing as everyone else. It's pretty boring, not fun, it's not unique, but worry about your own journey first. This is what's gonna help you kind of stop comparing yourself to other people. Instead of comparing your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20, celebrate your progress right now. Any accomplishments that you have made as of right now are valid. So I want you to recognize, the, recognize those and celebrate them as if they're something that's never been done before. Take a moment to reflect on how far you've come. Write it down if it helps. Put on a wall, chalkboard, dry erase board. Do something to tell yourself that you're doing a great job. Because you are, I promise. Tip number two is to limit your social media exposure. Social media can be a highlight reel for many people, but that just because it's showcasing their wins and they never showcase their losses. Try to unfollow accounts that make you feel like you're comparing yourself to them. That's gonna help you mentally on a daily basis if you're not seeing those people that you're struggling to compare yourself against to. Instead, if you can, find accounts that you can follow that inspire you to be better and help you and help uplift you to be a better person. You'll be amazed how much limiting social media and following accounts that are much better for you will really uplift your spirit and turn everything to a positive and much less of a negative. It's something that's really simple to do and all it does is it takes a couple thumb strokes and you're where you need to be. Tip number three is to practice gratitude. Start each day by listing three things that you are grateful for. The simple little exercise can help you shift your mindset into a more positive realm. <clears throat> and if you're thinking about stuff that's more positive all the time, then and stuff that you're more grateful for, your day is going to start off just better immediately. If you wake up and you start thinking positively, it kind of just leaks into the whole day. And by the end of the day, when you're going to bed, you're still thinking positively. So keep thinking of things that you're grateful for because you should be grateful for what you have. When you appreciate what you have, it becomes easier to silence that inner critic and realize that you are enough just as you are. So those are three easy tips to kind of help shift your mindset of going from thinking about other people to thinking more about yourself. If you're gonna compare yourself to anyone, it should be yourself as of yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. Only focus on yourself and compare yourself to your past self. It's a lot of selves, but basically what you're trying to do is be better than who you were yesterday or even, even an hour ago. Um, that's what's going to help you be the best version of yourself. And it's not easy to do. It's going to take some practice and that's okay. If you slip up, give yourself grace and continue to push down this journey, go down this path that you're working on and be the best version of you that you can be. And with that being said, take that information, those three tips and do with it what you will. I want to see you be the best version of yourself. If you have any questions or anything about your journey and what stuff you may not know about or understand, please leave a comment down below and we can talk about it. I have no issues talking about the stuff. I like being vulnerable. That's kind of the whole vibe of this thing. I want to build a community where everyone's kind of uplifting each other to be the best version of themselves. Um, it'll make your life just a little bit easier and it makes things just much more fun, to be honest. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, if you have questions, Please leave them down below. Like the video if you feel like if you feel like you want to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate it very much, and I will see you guys next time. Please keep doing what's best for you. Peace.